Today we're going to be learning the basics about how to plot figures in R. Now R allows the user a lot of power and a lot of flexibility in plotting figures and other data. And we're going to start with some very simple data sets to learn the fundamentals of plotting. R comes with some sample data sets that you can, that you can load using this data command. If you just type in data and some empty parentheses and hit return, you'll see this list of data sets that are available in R. So for example, road casualties in Great Britain in these dates, survival of passengers on the Titanic, the effect of vitamin C on tooth growth in guinea pigs. Several different data sets and we can focus on any one of them. Now let's focus on a data set called cars. So to load this I type in data and then in the parentheses I type in cars. Now this contains both the speed and the braking distance for different speed in miles per hour. If I type in the cars variable I see that it contains three different columns. Okay, I scroll back to the top here and I see that one column is speed and one is distance. This column on the very left is just an index. If I want to plot these different columns, what I need to do is I need to use the dollar sign to specify which column I want. So for example, if I type in cars and then the dollar sign and then speed, which is the name of one of the columns, I get a return of the values only in the column under speed. Likewise, I can do the same thing for distance. So the name of my data array or data frame, which is cars, a dollar sign, and then the name of the column that I want to focus on, which is distance or DIST. Now I can plot these against each other in a very simple graph by using the following command plot. So plot takes the following arguments. Really all you need is an x variable and a y variable or an independent and a dependent variable. In this case it would make sense to assume that speed is the independent variable and distance is the dependent variable. So we're going to do this cars dollar sign speed a comma and then our y variable which is cars dollar sign distance. If I plot those, you see in this window over here a plot of speed versus distance. That's all you need to do a very basic plot, and you can see different speeds corresponding to different amounts of stopping distances. To make this a little bit easier on the eyes, what we can do is we can add more functions into this. So I type in another comma, and maybe instead of just this cars dollar sign speed for the X label, which seems a little clunky and a little weird to look at, I can type in XLAB, which stands for X label. And then I can say I want it to be this instead of this cars dollar sign speed default. So in quotations, I put speed. What this means is I want the X label to read this following string or block of text, which is speed, and not cars dollar sign speed. Similarly, I can do the same thing for the Y label. And that argument is called YLAB for Y label. Again, an equal sign and then quotation marks and distance. Okay, I hit return again, and I see that it's been updated to reflect speed on the X axis and distance on the Y axis. Last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add one more argument here because I want a title for my plot to tell the user what it's all about. For this, I need to use the word main. Okay, similar to X label and Y label, but now this is a main title that's going to be centered above the graph. So I might want to call this car speed and stopping. Oops not stooping, stopping distance. Hit return and I see that it's been updated with this car speed and stopping distance on top of that. Those are the basics of plotting in R. Again, all you need for this plot command is an X variable and a Y variable. Everything else are other arguments and commands you can use to specify things like the X label, the Y label, and a title on top of the figure. Of course, there are many other options you can use, and if you need more help, see the help file for the plot function on the R website.